Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So today I'm going to be showing you how to add bones uh, into your asset that you have. In my case, I'm going to be applying them onto my wings of the avatar so they're not completely stiff and uh, so they can move. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to right click on the asset and show an explorer and then you're just going to drag it on your desktop. Um, now we're going to go into Blender, uh, delete all the stuff that you see here. Go file, import, FBX, and desktop, and then the thing that you're trying to work on. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do shift S and then you're going to go to the bottom option here. Then you're going to go shift A and we're going to press on armature. Now that we have our armature, you're going to look for a viewpoint display. You're going to make sure that the third thing is uh, checked and display as you're going to set it to wire. Now you're going to select the tip of the bone, press uh, G to move it and then basically mouse one to lock it in place. And then you're going to press E to duplicate it and then just uh, create as many bones as you need. Move the camera around a little bit uh, and make sure that all the bones uh, align uh, with your uh, basically asset. So just rotate the camera around and make sure that to position all the bones uh, just so they're nicely in center of your asset. Next thing, make sure you have Next, we're going to select our bones or one of the bones uh, and you're going to see this little green bone here on the right side. Select that. And now at the top where it says bone, uh, just rename it to something else. I would go wing base if it's the first or wing one, basically, just so that you know from which bone it starts. And then uh, just name each uh, bone. So it would be wing one, wing two, wing three. After that, we're going to click on the wing and then you're going to shift click onto your armature. You're going to go control P and then you're going to go armature deform with automatic weights. After that, go to object mode, click on your armature and then shift click on your wing. You're going to go uh, control tab and then you're going to go way paint. And now by doing this, uh, it should automatically way paint it for you. Now, please note that this doesn't work for every uh, asset and it's not going to be uh, super perfect. Way painting is really difficult, but with it, by doing this, it's going to basically do it automatically for you. Uh, you can control click the bone and uh, you and basically move it around so that you see how good uh, the way painting is done. Again, please note that it's not going to be perfect, but uh, it's still better than being completely stiff. If your asset is bended and doesn't look quite right, uh, you want to make sure you select the bones. And then at the top here, go pose. And from pose, you want to go uh, clear transform and then all. And now you're just going to go export. So file, export, FBX, desktop, and then name it. And make sure on the right side where it says armature, uh, be sure to set the add leaf bones to none. And now in Unity, if we drag our wing here, we can go ahead and attach the bones to the wing base. So add component, VRC physic bone. And now, um, as you can see, they stop um, halfway. So how we can fix this is basically uh, where it says endpoint position in the Y. Uh, you can hold Alt and then move it a little bit up. Uh, you can play around with these numbers and there you go. So now, as you can see, it extends all the way to the top. And now if we go into the play mode, you can see that our wing now is moving because it has bones. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I really hope that this video helped you out. Uh, Blender is a bit confusing, uh, but I hope that this got you started on adding bones. And of course, share it around with people who you think they're going to find this interesting. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you around.